Okay, and we're about ready to go with the, uh, this uh, 450, 600, uh, Super Street class out on the racetrack right now. number 219. Bike number six running in second spot. Uh, very unusual to see Roloff in running in third spot. In fourth spot, bike number 424, that's John Litzy. John Litzy putting in an excellent ride, running back there in fourth position. Carl Nagy to the trophy room, please. Carl Nagy to the trophy room. start picking off riders getting up to that lead. Here they come out of turn number nine and it's still Terry Statham, bike number 219 out in front. Running in second spot is now Roloff. Roloff's beating uh, Aguino now into uh, second spot. Aguino in third in fourth spot, 169. Yes, now Pete That's Pete Carroll running in fourth. So that's your first four leaders now as they cross the start finish line that lap around.
second. We've got Tom Aguino running in third. That is the way it was when they uh, crossed the start-finish line about a lap ago, and now we're going to check the positions this time around. Well, our riders decided to go motocross and opt out of turn number nine there. Went right off the track. Statham still out in front. Roloff having a tough time. Aguino's not going to quit. He's going to go after Roloff. It looks like he's going to try and get around him. Going around turn number one. He goes to the inside, but Roloff is going to hold him off. And that's that battle for second as they go around turn number one. He's the owner of the Orange Vega 395 JBM. He has to move his car now. It's blocking a car in. Orange Vega 395 JBM. Your car is blocking other cars. down the lane, we've got uh, Roloff running in second spot still, and uh, in third, Tom Aguino. In fourth spot, Pete Carroll, and in fifth spot, Jim Poet.
half of this 450 and 600 Super Street event. And uh, things are pretty much settled down into a uh, three rider duel for the lead. However, it looks like it's going to be Terry Statham that's going to hold up and finish first, and he'll collect uh, his first win of the day. Terry Statham coming out there and uh, going to picking up the win. checkered flag and now uh, coming up one of the feature main events of the day the Kirker Superbike event coming up and the big question of the story behind this race is can anybody beat Jim Vricky the Canoga Park rider who is uh, the two-time defending Kirker Superbike champion and of course this year and as, as of last year he was on a Yamaha FC 750 and uh, he is a he tunes that bike himself but he is sponsored by Kirker Dunlop ND spark plug spectral oils and mega cycle and Fox shocks as we mentioned, he is the 84 to the 85 California Superbike champion, and he started the season off already with two wins. So it's up to everybody else. Let's see if anybody can beat the 26-year-old rider from Canoga Park, Jim Avariki. And he's going to be coming out with uh, a host of riders that are going to try and take that, uh, that win away from him today. And they'll be coming up here very shortly for their eight-lap event. This is going to be a Kirker-sponsored event.